Hello everyone, and welcome back to Armored Core Project Phantasma. And we're going to build something else to take on this next group of arena opponents. Let's see, something with legs. Something with missiles. Probably use a lighter machine gun. Yeah, the... Yeah, the, uh, Machine Gun 500. This one should be just fine. And we'll have to ditch the blade for the time being. Okay. I know it has those big bad weapon arms, but we can also just throw lots of missiles at it and do a lot of damage that way. Now let's see if this actually works. Ah, there he is. Yeah, I think the gun emplacement arena is my favorite one because it has enough terrain to actually matter, but also plenty of open fields of fire for weapons like these. Plus, uh, some of the other maps make you start a bit too close together, and the AI is more of a quick draw than you are, so it actually just gives them an advantage. Hmm. Well, I'm not ready to give up on this quite yet. And there he is. I was equipped with the wrong weapon. Yeah, this, this dual missile launcher doesn't seem that affected uh, by your own movement. Okay, that's all of my missiles, but I think I can just fight him with the machine gun now. Weapon arms do not have defense. And down he goes. Okay, we don't need to see that again. So, what's going to happen from here on out is that there are going to be fewer arena matches between actual missions. For a couple of reasons. First off, I think people want to see more mission. And second, the arena opponents are going to start getting tougher pretty soon, so I wouldn't be able to just throw out a bunch of them anyway. Okay, so this guy has cannon arms and a tank build, so that's a wash as far as its durability goes. Oh, oh, those are grenade. Oh, he has a grenade gun. Well, that's, uh, that's different. Ow. But as offensively powerful as he is, he can't really maneuver, which is kind of a problem when your opponent is equipped with such a missile-heavy load as mine is. Out of missiles, but I am not out of options. See? He's done.
Now let's see what this guy brings to the table. Ah, okay, he also has weapon arms. Let's fight him someplace different, like around here. to start with. Hey, I need a pure shot. Yeah, that's good. Not what I was uh, expecting, but... Well, we'll do what we can. Ugh, didn't get much damage out of these dual missiles this time. Well, that's better anyway. I think with that difference, we can now just get in there and fight him. The thing is, they have actually built a couple of Armored Core games that are based just around uh, AC battles. And those are Formula Front and Ninebreaker. In fact, Ninebreaker is more like just, okay, here's how to play Armored Core. And that's another one taken care of. See another load of cash. Okay, so let's see what our next mission is. Oh, I know what this one is. We're going to need a different build for this. We won't need a huge amount of staying power because we need to destroy some things very quickly. Also a decent detection range, so we can't rely just on head radar. No. There we go. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, Project Phantasma related shipping lines, enemy transport vehicles, need to stop them from crossing the bridge. Okay, simple enough for anyone who ever played any mech game ever. Let's do it. System engaged. We've confirmed the presence of the transport vehicles. Okay, we have a full map of the area. Okay, so the game gives us three separate target points. 
However, all of the transport vehicles uh, will come down two roads at the start, so it's easier so it's easier just to intercept them further up and then move to the second route from there. Also, the enemies here can be pretty annoying, so it's best to bring a powerful weapon to shoot at anything that might cause you trouble. Like these helicopters here. And of course, the return of these sorts of MTs. Alright, there's the first group of transports. And now we just head over to look for the second set. Three, three transports come down that road, and the other six will come down the other road before splitting up to point B and point C. And we caught them just in time. You don't need to fight anything else if you don't want to, you can just... You can just uh, shoot the transports and ammunition like that. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. All vehicles destroyed. Well done. Targets destroyed. Look at that MT trying to get our attention. Target achieved. I'm sorry, the game isn't called MT, it's called Armored Core. Large weapon, huh? Okay. So, for the arena, we're actually going to give the chain gun a try because I don't think we really gave that weapon a fair hearing yet. And it's not like we're short on cash, so we can just load up with whatever catches my fancy. And we're going to do it on a quad build. And we still have those heavy legs from Armored Core 1, so let's do it. Okay, by downgrading to the starting blade, we can have the chain gun and the laser rifle. Which should be more than enough for the next few opponents. I wonder what BHI stands for. Oh well, let's fight him. Not entirely sure we've done the... Uh, Shipyard Arena yet, but... Ah, well, let's do it anyway. We can't keep using the Fortified Zone forever. Okay, so he's equipped with a Pulse Rifle, Rockets... And he jumps a lot. Whereas I can't afford to jump that much. The thing is, while he does jump around a lot, he's... not always good at, uh, having good landings, so... you can take advantage of that with a sufficiently hard-hitting weapon. Not sure the chain gun is sufficiently hard-hitting. But that's what the laser rifle is for. Oh, this isn't looking great. Uh, 
Uh, it's, the only, it's only the 25th guy in the arena. I better shape up. Oh, that's why he stopped. He has a plasma cannon, too. Oh, better be careful about that, then. Oh, that was a bit too close, but it gave me the opportunity for some hits. Oh well. Too bad for you. Yeah, one of the things about the arena is that it allows you to go crazy with weapons that you'd never use in an actual mission. And also it just shows off the whole variety of things you can do with the Armored Core customization system. Oh, I know what that is. That is a handheld grenade gun. Okay, uh, heavily armored AC. Yeah, he's using the heavy core, uh, some kind of pulse rifle, and other weapons. Yeah, because the pulse rifle is so small, my brother who streams armored core games... says that he doesn't feel comfortable calling that kind of relatively small handheld weapon a uh, rifle. So I had to explain to him that it's called a pulse rifle because there are grooves in the barrel that spin at the energy blast for improved accuracy. It's really just a technical thing. But people should be aware of those sorts of classifications. Anyway, he has a pulse rifle and a slug gun, but he can't really use any of his heavy weapons without kneeling. So there's only really one weapon in his arsenal we need to worry about. Oh, he has a missile, too. But it's only one. Not a problem. Okay, and there we go. Okay, he has rockets and missile arms, actually. Ah, there we go. Okay, weapon arms mean easier to hurt, so maybe our chain gun will put on a better showing. Yeah, the thing about quads is that while you do get much better land speed out of them than pretty much any other leg type, you can't jump nearly as well, and 
That will kill you against certain types of enemy loadouts. And our chain gun is actually doing pretty well against this guy. I mean, I have a strong generator, but the energy draw is still pretty intense from these legs. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, the games where quad plus chain gun really shines are Armored Core 3 and Armored Core Silent Line. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're just going to use this build for the next mission. Because I was looking through what I might want to do. But a quad would actually be suitable. Because we can't really jump that much in the next mission. But we what we are going to do is drop a save. Okay, let's see what we're up against here. Reward, 40,000 credits, high-ranking official, visiting Doomsday Organization test facility, capture him, secured with anti-air radar and anti-tank landmines. Yeah, I can do that. divide into two groups and attack the laboratory from both sides. Please don't forget about the anti-aircraft radar in the area. In other words, avoid using your boosters. Can do. I will contact you soon. Commence action. System okay, so engaged. what she means is avoid jumping. So, I do the wrong thing here. You're supposed to just follow the river north. You don't have to take out these transport vehicles, but I think there's a special bonus if you do just that. Yeah, the big laser rifle can take care of those things with one shot. Now we'll just keep going west, like I thought we were told. Then head north, because I hit a boundary of some kind. No, the landmines have been triggered. The helicopter is gone. Mission failed. And we blew it. Battle lost. You know, because this one was entirely my fault, I'm just gonna let that result stand. 
because I did not follow directions properly. From here, we will divide into two groups and attack the laboratory from both sides. Please don't forget about the anti-aircraft radar in the area. In other words, avoid using your boosters. I will contact you soon. Commence action. System engaged. Sure, we can commence action. And nothing wrong will happen. Okay, just quietly take out these transport vehicles. Just quietly get shot at by enemy helicopters. Stealthily make them explode. Okay, so if you keep going north along the river, you will need to make it to a second bridge, that one there. You can safely destroy the tanks. That doesn't seem to trip any alarms for some reason. But once you make it to this bridge, this is where you're supposed to turn west and follow the road. Stand by until the helicopter arrives. You are supposed to wait. If you go in too quickly, you will lose the mission. They've arrived. I'll send over some images. That man is the target. After you see him enter the structure, do it. Destroy all enemies around the warehouse. And now you can freely just shoot anything that appears red right on your radar. Yeah, I know I'm burning a bit of money by lighting these guys up with the chain gun, but I don't care. I bought this gun, I'll use it if I want to. The laboratory is under control. We will now capture the target. Surrender! Otherwise we'll destroy the entire building. Target achieved. And we got him. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that special edition is from destroying those transport vehicles. Oh, hey, new mail. Extracted the following information. Okay, so the Wednesday organization was established by megacorporations. Plural! Okay, we've captured a prisoner. We're gonna get some information out of him, hopefully. And so, we're just gonna drop ourselves a save right here. We will be playing... We will be coming back to this uh, next time on Project Phantasma, where we fight some more arena matches and see what that guy has to say. See you then. Bye.